name is Derek Michael Zanetti, and this music's called the Hummel's Gospel Choir. Thanks a fucking bunch for coming out. Way before you take that, way before you take that job, we can figure it out. The American dream has got you bit in the ass by a dog with no teeth, so it don't hurt that bad. And the money's enough, so you don't starve to death. But it grows like a cancer till there ain't nothing left. And the one thing I know for sure is that you don't need a boss no more <laughs> to say yes sir or say yes ma'am or smile and act like you give a damn and you guzzle it down until your belly is full until you don't recognize yourself anymore and you're always tired and you're feeling like shit and you spend your nights off at the bar getting lit to forget the work we got you hate to your core you did like you're told like your parents before you did like you're told like your parents before you did like you're told like your parents before so you don't understand fuck <laughs> why you're so mad all the time and I know I hate you, so I mean no offense, but they hate you either, so it don't make sense to do what they did, then do it again, and keep playing games that you don't want to win. But me, I'll be here for you until you figure it out. Then you can teach me. Thank you very much. Derek. This is a fucking protest song. This song's about the winters in Cleveland, Ohio. It's called Seasonal Depression. to grow up, that my songs make them want to throw up, that I'm not original, or catchy, or clever, or smart, fuck you. Just be yourself. That sounds 
Sometimes I feel like I'll die here And sometimes that's alright Sometimes those words haunt me and cut me like a butter knife And if your friends are assholes Then you're better off alone Or you can go make new friends at the retirement home or you can move to Hazelwood and I will be your friend and we can make a record in our brand new punk rock band with friends like that who needs friends when you have seen Just be yourself, Mouse Table Coop. This next one's a protest song. I got an email not too long ago from a restaurant chain and they wanted me to write a jingle for their new restaurant. It's a restaurant that you're going to see them here in Ohio. They're all in Pennsylvania and West Virginia. And along the coast of New Jersey. We saw a couple in Fort Wayne and South Bend, Indiana, Indianapolis Sioux. It's called the Guilt Buffet. It's a restaurant buffet that you get to go to. Has anybody ever been to a, a holiday dinner with their family and Aunt Louise says, when are you gonna get rid of all those tattoos? When are you gonna get a haircut? You're never gonna get a good job looking like that. How do you expect to, how do you expect to provide for yourself in a punk rock band? You know, I don't know if you've ever heard anything like that before from old Aunt Lorraine um, <clears throat> or Aunt Louise. They'll both give it to you. So what the Guilt Buffet was able to do is they were able to take all that shit, all that fear, all that guilt, and they were able to cook it down into this gravy, and they serve it all over their food. And no matter how much you eat while you're there, you always leave hungry. You never leave full. You're always super duper bummed out. There's coupons in the paper. Kids eat for free. It's like a real big deal. You know what I mean? And they, you listen. Guilt Buffet contacted a bunch of other bands. They called Turnstile, no way, they weren't interested. They called Paramore, and they were like, no, nope, we don't want to write anything for you. But me, I love money, so I wrote a song for them. Uh, it was great. Anyhow, this is a protest song about a, about a restaurant chain called The Guilt Buffet. I was listening to a bunch of um, the Bloodhound Gang and Corn when I wrote this song. Uh, maybe you all get it. Everybody's looking for someone else to change And looking for someone like them to take a little blame You can be a different person or start again today But at the Guild Buffet Everyone pays can eat for free every time you leave there you swear it off for good but it's hard to say no when there's a guilt buffet open take your wife and kids it's time for guilt buffet Works 
I was having a rough time inside my mind for the last 40 years or so, and I went to go, uh, I went to go and talk to a doctor, and I said, sometimes I get so worried, I look at my phone, and I can't stop looking at it, no matter how hard I try, it just sucks me in, and I think about all the evil things that are in the world, and I think about all the evil things that are inside of me, and I think about hurting myself, and I think about hurting other people too, and I don't know what to do with those feelings, and I need your help, and he said, I'm here to help you, and we think you're crazy, and I said, thanks. <laughs> And then he was giving me a whole bunch of medicine that made me feel even worse about it. And I had to take pills to wake up, and I had to take pills to go to bed, and I had to take pills to regulate my mood, and I had to make, take pills so that my head didn't swell up to the size of a watermelon and everything else. And um, anyhow, I wrote a protest song about it. This, this, is, <laughs> this is a protest song about Big Pharma. It's called Crazy. <laughs> crazy half the time the other half I wanna die it's harder to go outside when all you wanna do is cry my old friends don't call me likely because they're busy but in my mind it's not easy it's not easy to believe I feel crazy half the time tells me I'm fine. I feel crazy half the time. This next part's a choose your own adventure part. Some of it I'm telling the truth about and some of it I'm not. <laughs> Cut my face with a piece of glass So I wouldn't have to go to church I've done more drugs than the Rolling Stones And I forget why I'm even here What's the point in anything If everything means nothing I'm all alone in a crowded room Nothing's real, nothing's good And you want to die But you don't know how to tell your mom You don't believe in I'm older now than I was then, but all I, all I want is to be born again. And then born again, and then again, and again, and again, and again. Just keep on coming back. You just keep on coming back as many times as they'll let me. I feel crazy half the time. Songs. You know, other cities you go to, Sheboygan, um, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, um, Wilkes Bear, Scranton area, and Pennsylvania. They only give you about three or four claps in between songs, but not you, motherfucker. You're around eight or nine. You're gonna, okay, you're gonna get older. I just want to let everybody else here know it's just a fact that's gonna happen. Every day, you're only gonna get a little bit older, and, and being older and growing in age is a trophy that you get to wear on your head to say that I've made it this long and those motherfuckers haven't beat me yet. You get to keep on showing up. You get to keep on showing up. You get to keep on resisting. You get to keep on being alive. You get to keep on being yourself. It's a great treasure to be here. Um, and the older you get, the harder it is to tell your mom no when she asks you to go to church with her on Christmas. This is a protest song about going to church with my mom on Christmas. It's called Blind Faith. If you've ever read the Bible, some of these, some of this phraseology may be familiar to you.
<laughs> Don't do acid if you're in middle school. It's a super bad idea. Mission failed. You'll get all the lyrics when you're in your 40s. I promise. You. Wait until you're older. Just wait. You'll never get it right if you give up now. You eat it all up just to shit it all out. golden calf at the golden corral epi pens and honey bees for all potato sack rat race last place pays for the wall it's always up to you what you're gonna take will you stay miserable because you're stuck in one place Goddamn Marianne, I'm so amazed by your grace. There's always a gig cleaning up someone else's hurt. And I've been thinking too much about going back to church. A faith healer dealing pregnancy tests. Stockholm syndrome, citizens arrest. I've been thinking too much about giving in to it. Does the spirit move you like a cattle prod? Locker room talk, the perverted word of God. So take it from the thief on the right side of Christ. Hey! Who prayed for salvation on that dark and stormy night? What made you feel you did something wrong? Were you ashamed to be seen by your kids? Having to pay for someone else's sins? The still small voice that's too big to fail has got me feeling goosebumps like the Bible in Braille. I'm finally sure that there's nothing more than this. Still small voice that's too big to fail. It's got me feeling goosebumps like the Bible in Braille. I'm finally sure that there's nothing after this. But blind faith. But blind. She said, she grabbed the microphone right out from right out from underneath me, and she said, tell those people about Shady Graves. <laughs> and I said, I'll, I'll play that one next, because I don't know what Shady Graves was. And I found out it's a singer, Phil, and um, I, I wish all the success in the whole world. But I didn't know that, you know, I was supposed to know anything about it. And I was like, well, I'll play it for you next. And she just wasn't having it. I was like, can, you can get to it over there for a while. And she's like, not until you tell them about Shady Graves. <laughs> She eventually left. It was fine, but it's um, you never know what's gonna happen at a punk rock show. Sometimes somebody's gonna just go ahead and tell you about Shady Graves. You know? uh, she, she had, a, she was, she was blessed for sure. She was. Uh, she was filled with spirit. I now know that when I see it. Uh, this is a fucking protest. <laughs> I wish I did. Of course, I'd rather sleep on your front porch than on your cat piss stained apartment floor. I wrote some songs about my life, and I don't sing about politics anymore. And you can bet until my last 
breath I will do my best to never second guess That from here on out all these songs are about How we are gonna weather this storm together I'm still alive and I have survived And I can stand up tall with pride To say that I haven't tried suicide Choose to smile and say, Fuck you to those Sunday blues. And throw away what you hold on to. If it brings you down, so tell the truth. What are you gonna do until you turn 92? Doing what someone tells you to Or standing up against all of the I might be poor, well that's for sure But I'll endure, and I'll stay out on tour And I lied to you when I said That I don't sing about politics anymore questions at this point in time in the show? Go ahead. Um, I got it at a store in my local hometown of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It was on the clearance rack. Um, you, uh, you won't find anybody who's happier about a bargain than me, I'll tell you. I like to get a nice price. Okay. We'll get, hello, I can see that hand. Go ahead. Oh, you're just giving me a thumbs up. Okay. Go ahead. I see your hand. Go ahead. Happy birthday, motherfucker. I'm glad you're here. People are being born every single day. It's good. To th it's a good thing to celebrate that you're here and that you're still alive and that you're trying your best. And hopefully, you find friendship and community here at the Punk Rock Show. You sure are welcome. So, <laughs> yes, this is the rough grouse. This is the Pennsylvania State Bird. Um, I was a gift. It was a gift that I received, and um, um, I'm actually going to play a song about the Pennsylvania State Bird. <laughs> This is a brand new song I've never put on a record or I've never played really other than two times on this tour. This song is called The Pennsylvania Songbird. It's a quiet one. A couple miles south from the town I A couple miles south from the town I grew up in. They're speaking in tongues and they're handling snakes. The Holy Ghost power is enough to heal you, but it never shows up, no, until it's too late. My mother's garden is the best in the county. A bed full of red beets and rose full of kale. She waters it early before the sun rises, cause her medication don't mix with heat well. Oh, my father buried the cat by the brick shed. We never did find it when we tore it down. We hired the neighbors to remove the rubble. They buried it at the golf course on the rich side of town. Oh, money's subjective when you come up with nothing. My old man, he taught me to dig through the trash and to check all the dates on the back of the canned goods and smile when you do it so you get the last laugh. My brother played football and I went to tech school. We both started working before we were 10. He bought a used car and I bought a guitar. He wakes up to work out, I eat takeout in bed. Oh, I cough in the morning after years of smoking, or maybe it's due to the steel mills back home. But I sure am lucky for the hand I was given, because you can't drink the water in Butler County anymore. The Pennsylvania songbird knocks like a hammer and sings like a church bell on Easter Sunday. The turnpike is costly from Philly to Pittsburgh. 
cost almost twice of a worker's day wage. My brother's baby is as cute as a button. Everyone says she looks like Uncle D. But I'm scared to have children because I used to hear voices and I'd hate to have somebody turn out like me. Oh, the girl that I married moved me from my hometown to try something new. On the east of PA, the buggies and horses in Lancaster County remind me it's okay to slow down my pace. The Pennsylvania songbird knocks like a hammer and sings like a church bell on Easter Sunday. Thank you very much. so much to the grog shop and for the staff here. This is one of my favorite places to play in all of America. I love this venue. They care about the artists, they care about the music, and they care about you guys, and they create a space for people to come and enjoy music and enjoy art in a safe environment. I'm just super duper proud to be a, be a part of that tradition, and we thank you guys very, very much for your hard work and for creating this. I've been coming to Cleveland for 14 years playing music as the Homeless Gospel Choir, and I want to say this as a celebratory thing that this is my last tour as the Homeless Gospel Choir. I'm gonna, I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to make music under my own name for a really long time and start a new band and do something that's new and something that's fresh and something that's different. And um, um, I don't know why I waited so long to do it, but I'm, I'm very pleased and very excited to say that the next time I'll be here in March of next year. It'll be a whole new brand new thing. So thank you guys so much for fucking with me and for riding with me. I got two songs left, one for each of you. This song is called Cow People, and this is a fucking protest song. That's in the wrong key. <laughs> Hell yeah, okay. Woo! This is a protest song called Cow People, and it's about being a cow person. And you're a cow person, and I'm a cow person, and together we're cow people. <laughs> If you can take a break I'm gonna try super duper hard to sing these songs y'all please can I just get just be super nice to me if you could Thanks. How long has it felt like everything is changing and it's hard to know if you can take a break Still your lungs with a breath of fresh air while the fresh air is still free to take I ain't a train hopper I never was it just sounded so much better than riding on the bus I used to talk to Jesus on a one way phone line But I got tired of pretending I wasn't wasting my time. Oh, hallelujah. Are you having fun yet? Are you too busy pretending like we never met? I've done some pretending all of my own. That's why us cow people sing our songs all alone. The Under the city's wing Oh, there ain't no jobs coming Back to these friendly shores Cause no one pays full price When you can get half off for more Glory, hallelujah Have you gotten your fill? You can fix any problem As long as you foot the bill Oh, just don't show your soft side Whatever you do Nail you to a cross Call we're tired of you And you wish that you were better At playing guitar But it's hard to sit still The older I get And you don't want to practice 
practice, you get stoned instead. All the saddest songs are sadder when the singer is dead. Glory, hallelujah, I'm biding my time and trying to be honest about my slice of life. Have you ever wanted something different than you got? And don't wait for no one when you got a clear shot. It's hard to think of something that's shiny and new when everything's a sales pitch and pointed at you. Don't you dare compare yourself to I might not know what's coming, but that's nothing new. This is the time in the show where you can cheer one more song. One more song. One more song. Okay, 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 I'll do it. I have a bunch of records and t-shirts over there. If you like to listen to music at home on a vinyl record album or compact disc, you can go over there. I'll be over there later. Come and meet me and say hello. Get yourself a t-shirt. You look so cool at school or at work. Um, I'm gonna play a song called Normal. It goes out to you and it goes out to me too. Um, it's something I'll never be and I hope you can never be it too. I want you to know that punk rock doesn't have to look like anything. It doesn't have to look like a mohawk. It doesn't have to look like a leather jacket. It doesn't have to be angry or pissed off or mean or any of those type of things. Punk rock is the thing that we use to express ourselves to a world that doesn't understand who we are. You can have a tambourine and a penny whistle and be just as punk rock as the Ramones or Motorhead or any of that type of shit. When I was in sixth grade, my friend Jake Colvin Senzo handed me a cassette tape. He knew I was having a rough time. He knew I was getting bullied a whole bunch, and I didn't have very many friends. And he handed me Green Day Dookie on cassette tape, and it changed my whole life. I didn't know that there were other weirdo, misfit, queer punk kids out there looking for community and looking for family and looking to belong. And it turned out that something so silly as a Green Day band could bring all these weirdo misfit people together to create our own chosen family. This song is called Normal. It's a fucking protest song. My name is Derek. This music's called The Homeless Gospel Choir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunkashin. Thank you very much.
go into shows and taping songs off the radio. And then I figured out the radio was bullshit. I picked up a guitar and I played it with my heart. And I got inside my car and I started driving. Twenty years and change. Well, this is more than just a fucking phase. I found something that I can believe in. When things are getting tough and I feel like giving up, I remember what my one friend said to me. And this is what he said. We are the sons of no one. Thank you very much. Yeah.